hey guys it's Dabs here again welcome to my youtube channel as usual and i'm so excited to have you watch this video again i want to show you in this video how you can zip and unzip a file in your ipage control panel uh, because ipage use a highly customized control panel a lot of people have issues with how to find their way around zipping a file or unzipping a file if you are uploading a file directly into your control panel you would know that if you it is a zip file it will be difficult unlike the usual control panel where you can just click on the uh, you can just click on the zip file and then unzip it but here you cannot do it that way uh, there is a way it is done and that's exactly what i want to show you in this video if you are watching if you are landing on my youtube channel for the very first time you're welcome i'm so excited to have you on board here uh this is me this is what i do i upload videos every now and then teaching people the things that work the things that don't work the free things that ask around wordpress making you look like a pro with wordpress even though you are a non techy so if you're into wordpress you are trying to de high white things for yourself then this is where you should be hanging out you should subscribe to this youtube channel right now hit the notification bell and that way you get notified when i keep posting cool and awesome videos like this so without wasting so much time let me show you exactly how to zip and unzip a file in ipage if you sign into your ipage control panel you'll be here but if you switch here to your hosting account as you can see up there you would realize that you just have things scattered here and there one of the places you need to hang out if you want to zip and unzip file is your archive gateway and if you launch it it will open a new tab it will break you down to all the files you have on your hosting account and this is where you can now zip or uh, uncompress or on archive a file and also compress and archive a file if you want to if you come back here to our control panel under our file manager if i go to file manager here i'll see all the files i have and the same files i have here are the things i have there so for example i have a file uh travel pal i if i open this file here i would see my wordpress files here so let's say i want to archive okay i have a travel zip file here let's say i want to i want to unzip this and i want to archive one of this so let's come back here we will see that we have the same files here so we have our travel pal here and once we are here we'll note that we have two sections here uh this is for us to uncompress on on archive a file and if we still come down there's a place for us to archive a directory or compress a file so if you want to uh compress a file you come down here if you want to extract a file you just stay up so here now you can see that this is travel zip we can eat this and once we eat this we can extract or uncompress this file uh, so let's still come down here to travel pal so let's say for example our wp content we want to archive it we want to zip it if we click it and then we can come down here and it archive or compress so you can keep the original file if you want to you can also replace with the compressed file and that would mean that you don't want to keep the original file but let's take the original file let's archive and uncompress so what we have here we can see that the file is compressing uh it can take a while depending on the the size of the file all right so we have a file compressed and that's exactly how to compress your file you can come up here if we refresh this page after the refresh we can come back to travel power and then we see a zipped file here we may choose to uncompress it by clicking here and then coming down to eat the extract and uncompress button but we will not be doing that right now since i have this same file uh here already so that's exactly how to compress and also uncompress using ipage thank you very much for watching this video if this video is useful for you give me a thumbs up if you have any question drop them for me in the comment section below hey you should be subscribing to this youtube channel in case you have not also hit the notification bell for you to be notified when i keep posting awesome videos 
Uh, I think that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.